All right, guys. So one of the things I love about the movie mm. is that it gives that feeling of this realness, mm. you know, and that believability. But one of the things I want to ask, do you think that snitching is ever okay? <laughs> <laughs> I see. You see, <laughs> snitching. Under certain circumstances. <laughs> Just don't do crime. When your livelihood is at stake and it's important to preserve yourself, there are certain situations where uh -huh. snitching can be partially acceptable. For instance, if you steal my car <laughs> and I know who did it, it's not snitching because it's happening. I'm just telling on you. I'm just telling, yeah, he took my car. Like, you know, there's no, uh, there's no snitching involved in that. It's gonna go to jail. All right, all right. So Gerard <laughs> Butler, <laughs> Gerard Butler, he played the role of a cop in the film. Yeah. And uh, one of the statements that he made was, we are the bad guys. Mm. And so black people and the cops, they've not had a great relationship over the years or in history. Mm. But your dad, O'Shea, mm. you know, in the past had had some sentiments towards the cops. Yeah. But what do you think about that statement made by Gerard? You know, it's... It's what really makes our movie very, you know, uncliche. You know, it's not it's not your typical film because you, there are so many blurred lines of who's bad, mm -hmm. who's good. It is all about intent. You know, yeah. you know, like whatever their their intent is 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 what drives them. And as far as you know, the law enforcement of Los Angeles, you know, they've uh, they definitely got a nice record against us. I know me personally, each film that y'all have seen me in, I, I seem to get beat up by the police. So it, it's definitely a topic that, you know, isn't, it isn't news too well, like it's not news around here because of how many times people in, encounter it. But with this film, I, I think where the what we were trying to do was just to get the audience to to really not be able to tell what's going to happen next in our mm -hmm. film because once it becomes predictable you know that's when they feel that they could text or they could go to the restroom and we it's about keeping them glued in those seats i think gerard's statement um we're the bad guys not you mm -hmm. is really uh, at its deepest a a case of wishful thinking yeah you mm -hmm. know because i think we all know who the real bad guys are <laughs> in this movie come on now uh <laughs> and it's not them yeah it's us <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it must not be easy to be actors, especially in Hollywood. It's so demanding, it's so competitive. Mm. But what would you say is success for you? How do you get that element of success? Uh, when I, I think the, the, the purest way for me to get it is when I, I, I have something in the film that I personally, or is my, my favorite scene or my favorite thing that I do, and once I see the audience get it, mm -hmm. That's what that's what's what makes it for me is just to do work that I love and to have an audience that understands what I'm doing. Success for me is uh, keeping a, a roof over my kids' head and money, and keeping them <laughs> fed. You know? As long as my children are eating and, and have a roof over their head, that's I'm, I feel like I'm successful. I've been very fortunate over the course of my career to to be working quite steadily. Um, and then I just want to I want to work with good people on good projects. But ultimately, as long as as long as my kids wake up every morning happy, then then I'm happy as well. And money. <laughs> and money. Absolutely. Also <laughs> money. Also money. Add money. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.